Now in this next part of the question we're asked to find the coordinates of P and Q. So how are we going to do that? Well in the previous part, part A, we found that y minus 2x equaled 0. And if we rearrange this we can add 2x to both sides and we get y equals 2x. Now we know that P and Q lie on the curve 3x squared minus y squared plus xy equals 4 because we're given that at the beginning of the question. So if we know that the coordinates of P and Q satisfy this equation and they lie on the curve then in order to find the coordinates of P and Q all I need to do is solve these two equations simultaneously. And to do that I'm just going to sub equation 1 into equation 2. So by doing that we have 3x squared and then minus y squared so we have 2x all squared which is going to be 4x squared and then we have plus x times y so x times 2x is going to be 2x squared and that's going to equal the 4. So simplifying the left hand side that gives me x squared and that equals 4. Take the square root of both sides and you're going to have x equals plus or minus 2. So all I need to do now is substitute plus 2 and minus 2 say into number 1 and it will give me the corresponding values of y. So when x equals 2 we can see that y equals 2 times 2 which will be 4. And similarly when x is minus 2 we get that y equals 2 times minus 2 in other words minus 4. So in summary then we can see that therefore the coordinates just write that down, the coordinates of P and Q are. Now we don't know which combination is P and which is Q so as long as I don't say P and Q are particular values, okay, respectively, if I leave respectively off, it doesn't matter which way around I get it. So I'm just going to say the coordinates of P and Q are 2, 4 and minus 2, minus 4. Okay, and that brings me quite nicely now to the end of this question.